In this tutorial, we show you how to get started with uh, JavaFX. Building a uh, graphic user interface can be very uh, tedious if you type everything from scratch. So I will show you how to use a uh, JavaFX in Builder. I'm using Java. Um, Version 8, so I recommend you to use a sim builder 8.5. I will download uh, 64 bits. If you're just getting started with uh, Java FX, please use uh, Java version 8 rather than 11 or 13, 14. It's uh, a bit more complicated if we use uh, anything higher than version 8. And the uh, Oracle still supports JDK 8 with uh, Java FX. JDK 8, this you may need to um, register to download it. So let me download 64 bit. Or you can download open JDK if you don't want to register. It's anyway it's identical. So when you install SimBuilder, you have to be careful about installation directory. This is a very unusual place, okay? User, your username, app data, local SimBuilder. So please make sure you remember or well, copy paste to a notepad. This is what we have now, um, same builder. Epon 5.0. This is designed for JDK 8. Let me install JDK 8. New version for today uh, is 1.8.0251. Okay. Close it. I assume that you already have uh, NetBeans 11, for example, 11.3. So here, during the demonstration, uh, I was using JDK 11. So you may need to change. Open as an uh, administrator. We are going to go through that directory and then open netbeans.configuration file. etc. Change to all. Open. You need to remember Java installation directory. If you go all the way down, there is a NetBeans JDK home. Replace it. So let your Apache NetBeans use a JDK 8 instead of a 11. Launch Apache NetBeans 11.3. About. This one says that uh, we are using JDK 1.8.0. 2.5.1. That's what we need. So that's what we had previously, 11. 
now I install 1.8. Let's integ integrate uh, Java FX in Builder. Go to Java, Java FX. Try to remember these locations. I already set it up so you can browse through. Then you should be able to select the same directory. Once it's done, you can create a new project, Java FX. Java FX, FXML application. We are selecting 1.8, that's OK. Finish. So it's going to give you three files. This is a Java FX application. This is what we have with the main class. Please copy and paste the package in front of FXML. This is the one we can launch our application. This is a graphic user interface using FXML. There are two buttons, uh, actually one button, one label. And then this one say controller. It's going to link with the FXML and then controller, which is what we call as a business logic. This is one method. If you remember that something to do with the event handler. So easy one is we can open FXML documents with the uh, sim builder eventually. Let's uh, clean and build, run it. So default project comes with uh, one button and then one label. So here we have one handler. When you click it, it's going to print uh, you click me on console. Also print hello world on label. So here FXML, um, there is a FX ID, code it as a button, the other one code it as a label. So let's open with the uh, same builder. During the event driving programming, we create uh, multiple buttons. Uh, for here, we are going to have uh, two buttons, properties label, text here. We can put a new label per button. This is how we uh, set the variable name, which is a FX ID. Then we can uh, put even handler. Write it down, name of the method. Here, query as a cancel. This button, uh, we can have a FX ID. Something we can repose to this button. Then we can uh, set event handler methods. We call it as a handle PT and cancel. PT stands for button. Save it. So we have a controller here. Okay. The controller make a link between our application and FXML. Who are basically grab user interface design. My controller. Now we have two more buttons called PT and OK and cancel. So we have two event handler methods. We copy that. Two lines. Handle OK button. We say, um, I'll change to uh, OK button is click. We and paste it. Again, uh, paste it. Now we we'll change to cancel. Uh, this way we can uh, focus on our uh, crappy user interface design and then implementations. So it's less um, 
tedious when you develop the desktop applications. So often we use the same builder for the design. Then we focus on our implementation, in this case, uh, FXML Documents Controller Java. So OK. OK, shows up to message. Cancel also shows up. Please continue with uh, my separate JavaFX tutorial if you want to continue learn JavaFX. Thank you. That's all.